Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Old Nation Brewing Company. These guys are out of Williamson, Michigan. Uh, this is their Boxer, which is a uh, New England style, that's what it says here. New England style IPA, 7.1% alcohol, no, 7% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs. And it's got the same batch code on it that yesterday's beer had on it. Uh, and if you go to the website, you can figure that out of when it was done. And like I told you on yesterday's beer that we did, uh, the M43, uh, I would like to see them put a date on this other batch code. They have the machine and they choose to put the batch code on it. But it's more than likely a brewery only release and they don't distribute it. Some of you guys that's in that area may comment whether this is in the stores or not. Uh, this was sent to me by Brandon Kay, and he actually picked it up at the brewery. So I don't know if it's distributed further out than the brewery. So I don't know how big the brewery is or if they have a distribution. If you have to pick up everything at the brewery, I can understand what they're doing. But if it does go to the beer stores, it needs to have a date on it. So uh, I don't think he tells me a lot here. He says Boxer is batch four which even though, as of this letter, is not listed, was canned on the same time on March the 28th. So, uh, that's the information that Brandon sent along with the beers he sent me. So, uh, I thought yesterday's the M43 was awesome, guys. I thought I gave it a 10. I thought it was outstanding. Even though it didn't have a date, it had a batch code, where you, and their website does provide you that. So, uh, if it goes to the beer stores, that's not good to have a batch on it instead of uh, an actual date. And since they have the machine, they need to do that. Uh, maybe the machine's only capable of printing one line. Uh, but if it's capable of doing more than that, they need to do more than that. They've got the ABV and the IBUs on the label. But we shouldn't have to get our smartphone out at the beer store, if it's available there at a beer store, to try to find out how old the beer is. It's just my two cents, guys. That's how I feel about these, these style beers. So. Uh, commercial description this says, and actually it says it's 7.2 here on uh, on Rape Beer, where it's got 7% on the can. And Beer Advocate also has it at 7.2, and Untapped has it at 7%. So maybe they've done a different earlier version of this. Um, this is a new version here, so evidently they have done it before with a little bit larger ABV. So uh, it's not a brand new brewery, so... Uh, I, I don't know there, guys. I, I'm not in that area. I don't know how long they've been in business or if it is distributed. So any of you guys there, Brandon K. maybe, uh, can tell me whether you have to pick it up at the brewery or it does go out to some, just some kind of distribution into the beer stores. So, commercial description says here, a more complex example of a New England style IPA with a slightly deeper malt body, a bit darker in color, and fantastic sweet grapefruit, mango, and peach nose uh, from fresh Equinox hops and our House of England IPA yeast strain. So, should look a little bit different than the M43 did yesterday. So, let's see what it brings to the table. Uh, let's get this 16 ounce can, plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label. Alright, we'll get it into the glass. <clears throat> Cuisine says curry to Curried in Thai, cheeses of peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, uh, the more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola Limburger, and the meats, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, and I'll add grilled meat to that. Glass for the pint, Becker, Nanak, Tumbler, Mug, Sign, Side, Dale. 
I'm using my favorite tulip glass for this today, guys, the Simon Beer Glass. And not recommended for a salary. Drink them fresh. Drink them fresh. Drink them and get not. Uh, about a quarter finger of head on that pour. It is a little darker. It is a deep, it's not the orange juice looking uh, color. It's a little deeper color than that. It's almost a uh, orange juice mixed with something else. It's almost a murky uh, orange amber color. Definitely a lot darker beer than what we had yesterday. But it's still a juice bomb. Looking at that, it is cloudy as it can be. And down at the very bottom, I'm getting a little bit of light down through here. But it is much darker than yesterday's beer. Let's get a nose to it. Nice hop profile. Not as hoppy as yesterday's beer. A little bit of dankness to it. But the hops are not quite all up in your face like the M43 was. A little bit of pine and grapefruit. And a hand of some citrus in there. Not as citrusy and juicy as yesterday's was. This one smells a tad more maltier. Well, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. Yep. A little bit more maltier than yesterday, but it's no malt bomb by any means. Just not quite as up in your face juicy hop aroma that the M43 did. A little bit darker malt evidently to be this much darker. And a little bit more malty, not quite as, I don't think they use the hop. It doesn't tell me other than uh, Equinox what other hops that they use in this if it was, or maybe it's an Equinox only hop. But not quite the pungent, the punginess that uh, yesterday's had. Still quite delicious though. Just a little bit different style, even though it's a New England style IPA or juice bomb as I call this style of beers, which this is. Definitely different malt, different hops on this one. Well, let's sip on it for a while and let it come up to room temperature and See where it ends up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sitting on about 30 minutes. Nice slice. See, it's left on the vibes. This is a little more subdued than the M43. Uh, still a very pleasant beer. A little bit more dankness and darker malt used on this particular version. Uh, it doesn't have that super up in your face hot profile that the M43 does. Everything's a little bit more subdued on this one. But like I said, still a very tasty beer. I am getting some lighter fruit notes now that's warmed up. Maybe some apricots or pears or peaches. But it's not super pungent. I do find that the M43 is a just a tad tastier than this one, final chug. Definitely a little lighter fruit notes on this than the M43. The apricots and the pears and the peaches are just a little heavier than the pine, pineapple, grapefruity taste that I was getting on the M43. Still a very tasty beer. I would buy this beer if I could get it here, guys. I love these juice bombs. But not quite up to the scale of the M43, in my opinion. Uh, 9 out of 10 on this one, guys, for me. Uh, numeric rating, I would give this a 98. That's where I would put this. So let's run over to Beer Advocate, and they say... No score. There's about 10 people that have commented on a particular beer. Maybe it's a new version, something that they've just come out with. 
But saying that, they have it listed as a 7.2%, where this can only has a 7% listing on the front label here, not 7.2. Over to Rate Beer, they also have it listed as 7.2%, and they also have no score. So not 10 people have not commented. They don't have 10 people that have commented on this particular beer, which I find unusual if this is a second edition of it, and they've done it before. Uh, Ten people haven't commented on it. And on Untapped, Untapped has it at 4.17, which is in their lower A scale, almost to the A minus scale. So, uh, don't think it's quite up to the 10 category on this one, even though it is still a very tasty beer. Uh, a little more subdued than the M43, so but still very enjoyable. Uh, that's what I've got to say about it. That's what they've got to say about it. So if you've had the Boxer from Old Nation Brewing, let me know what you think of it, guys. Brandon K., I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, it's still a very tasty beer, and I appreciate you picking it up and sending it to me to try. All right, guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.